It's not free speech. No, but we're not saying what to do before. It's not Professor Blacklist or Professor Hitlist. But we're not saying they should shut up or be fired. We're not misquoting them. Yeah. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are good guys today. We're going to be reacting to college student debates Charlie Kick on free speech, guys. This is always interesting to watch, so let's get right down to it. It's really unsettling to me that you have this website, professorwatchlist.org, right? Yep. That basically tells conservative students that hey, these professors are very liberal, uh, and you should avoid them. They're exposed. Okay, fine, exposed. But even in that, I feel like that colors thought, coloring their speech to where it's not free speech. No, but we're not saying what to do it's before. not Professor Blacklist or Professor Hitlist. But we're not saying they should shut up or be fired. We're not misquoting them. Yeah. No, oh, I, I understand all this that. Stuff is, we're just making. But would you agree that it's taken out of context, though? But that's not my fault if someone takes something out of context. But so you're, if I you're says your sweatshirt is red, this? it's not my. It's not anyone's fault except the interpreters. Sure, but you're providing this platform to, for people to spread this misinformation. Not necessarily. You don't think it's a platform where people can spread in misinformation? You can say the same thing about the internet or Twitter or Facebook. It's not incumbent on the person who creates the platform to be responsible for how people interpret it. Of course, can you? guarantee that this is not going to inhibit free speech. You can never guarantee it. But it's, we're using our right to free speech to, to encourage more speech. Are you encouraging more speech of or are you course. silencing that speech? How, how are we silencing it? You're silencing it in the sense that you're telling students that, hey, no, no. this person has this preconceived notion, right? So you're giving students this idea that, hey, this professor thinks these things, he believes these things. So then, so then when them, they take that them. class, when they take that class, they're not going to go into it with this open mind, being these free thinkers. Yeah. They're going to go into it thinking, hey, if this professor has this ideal. I should know that when I well, engage wrong with that? I think the thing that's wrong with that is... Maybe they're more aware. That's literally antithetical to free speech, would you no, say? It's not. I think it's important to engage with someone and rationalize their ideas. Of course. And so then you're inciting violence against no, them. You're inciting, inciting violence! You're inciting this it's negative like, sentiment. It's like saying a newspaper right? incites violence when they cover a anything. But would you agree with me in saying there's a significant difference between a newspaper that's public out and something like TPUSA and something like this where you have a bunch of like-minded news articles, right? So, I don't know. I, my feeling is just that it creates this environment. It's not equal. I, I, I appreciate the sentiment. I'm not even going to lie. The guy had a point because when um, you're, you're giving them this um, this platform to think that this lecturer is like this, this professor is like this. So when you eventually take their class, you have it at the back of your mind that this particular professor thinks this way. So it's either you just want to, whatever he says in the class, you're just going to relate it to this is how you see life. So yeah, obviously, I wouldn't mind you, I wouldn't, mm -mm. Or you're going to make them want to challenge that professor and say, no, 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 like, it's not an unnecessary argument. So I say, I'm not even going to lie when I say the guy had a point. But same time, it's for a good cause. No, Charlie said it's for a good cause. It's the one to um, create a platform where people can come and probably talk. And, like, you know, he also said, oh, you can try to challenge the professor. But I don't know. I just feel like the guy really had a good point because it's just going to make them see the person in a certain way and obviously like people always always you see they are good um social media websites like they are look at instagram look at tiktok but then there will always be people who would want to misuse it so when there's something like this people there are some people who would want to you know do something the, quite the opposite of what that particular part platform was created for so i just feel like it's just like like you cannot everybody can be good that's basically but guys don't mind think about this don't forget to like just my channel i love you guys